we want to see what the winter is going to be like, we have to look at the Pacific Ocean. And when we see that we're in a weak La Nina pattern, that gives us a little insight as to what pattern we'd expect over North America. And this is kind of the default cookie cutter setting for a La Nina pattern. Now, when we add in our little nuances and adjustments, we can come out with a pretty confident forecast for the first half of winter. Certainly for December, looking pretty below normal for the majority of the country. Now the question is, does this pattern hold through January or do we get a flop? And then as La Nina weekends, we could see that transition back to a more mild flow for the eastern half of the country. Now in terms of snowfall and rainfall, what are we in store for? Well, when you get that cold air spilling into central Canada, you're gonna get a storm track along the east coast. So a lot of that moisture coming up from the Gulf and the Atlantic to the lower Great Lakes, but will it be falling as rain or snow? Well, that depends on about a couple hundred kilometer variance in that storm track. Uh, if that storm track slides a little further south, we could be looking at some above normal snowfall for the GTA.